On Saturday, 2nd of January 1960, Liverpool Football Club travelled to Boothbury Park Hull. In the 31st minute, Jimmy Melia scored and Liverpool Football Club beat Hull City 1-0, away from home, away from Anfield. One week later, Leighton Orient came to Anfield, Liverpool. That afternoon, 40,343 folk came too. In the first minute, Roger Hunt scored. In the 62nd minute, Foster scored for Leighton Orient. But in the last minute, Roger Hunt scored again and Liverpool Football Club beat Leighton Orient 2-1 in the third round of the FA Cup at home at Anfield. After the whistle, the final whistle, in the tiny office before the small desk, Horace Yates of the Liverpool Daily Post watched Bill Shankly jump up from behind the desk in the office. Horace Yates watched Bill Shankly pace the room. He watched him pace and listen to him talk. Ten to the dozen, one hundred miles an hour, talking and pacing, pacing and talking, talking about the future, the future now. The gates of Anfield, the gates of Melwood are wide open, wide open, Horace. To every schoolboy and every youth on Merseyside, the gates are open, Horace. They need feel no embarrassment, no shyness, Horace. They must come and report for coaching and training, every one of them. Every lad who has ever kicked a ball within 100 miles, they are all welcome, all welcome, Horace. And we will watch them all. So any boy, any lad who has any potential, we will develop that potential. That is my promise, to give every boy, every lad who comes through these gates the opportunity. The opportunity, Horace, because that is what I believe in. Giving people, whoever they may be, wherever they may come from, giving them that opportunity. Because without opportunity there is no chance for talent. And so if any boy, if any lad has any talent in them at all, we will do our very best to bring it out of them. Our very best, Horace, because that is what I believe in. Finding that talent, then giving that talent the opportunity. Bringing out that talent, and then developing that talent.